welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Lainey, and on my channel, I talk a lot about different tips and tricks or hacks or simply motivation to help you guys with the daily hustle of life. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you my Dollar Tree do's for Christmas time. I've got three different categories I'm gonna go over that I'm always going to hit up the Dollar Tree for because in my opinion, these are things you don't need to be spending more than a dollar on. The biggest thing I think the Dollar Tree is good for are things having to do with wrapping around Christmas time. Things like wrapping paper and boxes and tape and anything that you wanna add to make your gift look really great and presentable. I'm always gonna go for their tissue paper. They have such a wide variety of colors and patterns and they've really stepped up their game. It looks like something you would classically find at Target. It says 14 sheets for only a dollar. I like that they don't come in huge packs because then I can kind of switch it up and get a few different packs and I have a variety to choose from. So tissue paper is one of the best things to get for gifting at the Dollar Tree. And the next thing are boxes. They don't come in huge packs. They only do packs of three. That's the largest that I found. But again, I don't see that as a downfall. I like that I can get a variety and I'm not just stuck with a pack of 10 of the same thing. I can really tailor it to each person that I'm gifting things. And I think the biggest value is the wrapping paper. This one is super long and it's actually the Hallmark Expressions brand. Here, let me show you. So they do have cheaper quality wrapping paper, but you don't have to settle guys. You can get the Hallmark wrapping paper and it's only a buck. Same for the wrapping paper. This isn't like a huge roll but I like to do a variety of different patterns and colors for our wrapping paper, as well as boxes and the tissue paper and all of that. So in my opinion, it's a bonus. And then of course, simple things that are gonna look the same generally anywhere you buy them are bows and then tape. You have a two pack of tape for a buck. Awesome value, two for one dollar. You can't beat that on the tape. They also have things like scissors if you don't happen to have them laying around your house, but my guess is you probably already do. Those are my top things that I always hit up the Dollar Tree for around Christmas. I do not go anywhere else because like I said, I don't feel I need to pay more than a dollar for these things. So the next thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about are things around eating and your meal at Christmas time or any other holiday for that matter. These items are great because I typically won't use them in my normal day-to-day -day life. So I don't wanna be putting a lot of money into something that I'm only gonna be using for one day of the year or a handful of days throughout the year for the holidays. So paper plates and napkins are a must. Like you don't need to be spending $5 on a stack of China plates when the Dollar Tree will suffice. And same thing with napkins. Most of them are the same. It's not like toilet paper. You're just getting the food off of your face or your hands and cleaning up little messes. So you don't need to be spending more than a dollar on these either. And I think that the quality of the plates from Dollar Tree is pretty exceptional. I know you can get like a huge stack of 99 cent Smartly or Smart brand paper plates from Target, but those things I don't think I would even want to hold a piece of paper on top of because they will just fold in half. These have a little bit of sturdiness to them, so they will hold up. Next, I really like these foil containers for cooking in. They have a wide variety of sizes and different shapes that you can use. So no matter what you're making, you'll be able to find one for that. I like that they only come in packs of two. A 
again for the variety reason. If I'm making different things and I need some different sizes, I'm not gonna be buying a pack of five and throwing four of them away. So it's perfect. One of my biggest things when cooking for the holidays are leftovers and what to do with them. So I love the Dollar Tree for leftover containers for after the holidays, or even if you wanted to use these as serving dishes, you could, because there's also a wide variety of these to choose from as well. I found these ones. I honestly did not see these when I went on my last trip, but I have seen them multiple other times and they look really high quality. I don't know if you can see, but they look like almost a ceramic dish. So it's really great for presentation and it makes me want to maybe eat the leftovers the next day if I'm gonna pick it up out of this. So they do have a great option and they're great quality. It's not real flimsy, it's stiff and sturdy plastic. So this is a awesome buy at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar. And last but not least in this category, maybe something we don't all need because I'm sure we get new ones every year. But for that reason, I like to hit up the Dollar Tree because I don't feel guilty about getting a new one every year. But it's going to be the pot holders and the dish towels. They always have a festive print available during the holidays. And who doesn't want a nice new set of festive things in their kitchen just to bring up the holiday spirit. And for only a dollar, come on. The last thing that I wanna talk to you guys about that I think is a really great deal, especially now that I have a daughter of my own and as she gets older, I'm really gonna take full advantage of this. It's going to be stocking stuffers and small gifty items for kids. They have a whole aisle full of toys and activities and things like that for kids. And with as short as their attention spans are, you don't need to spend a lot of money to keep them entertained. And you can get them a wide variety of options to play with if it's only a dollar. She's only nine months right now. So I'm kind of limited in what I can get her. But for her, I find that they have great books. They're not gonna be super high quality, but she just chews on them half the time anyway. So I don't need them to be, they're just, she's gonna turn and burn through them. But there's nice um, board books that they have for a buck. And they're just nice with little stories in them. She can turn the pages, it works just same as any other board book. So I picked up a few of these for her to keep her entertained. I just got this kind of activity stocking that I plan to do with her. She can look at all the fun colors and decorations on it as we go along. Figured for only a buck, why not? They have a ton of different activities like this that you can do with your kids. In the future, I plan on getting a ton of these around the holiday just so she can participate and enjoy the season. And I'll also insert a little clip of the toy aisle. Like I said, they have an abundance of options to choose from.
guys. So I hope I was able to give you a couple of ideas on how to get your holiday hustle going and make it a little bit easier on your pocketbook and make it a little more convenient and easy for you to obtain some of these things that you need all in the same spot. And that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you in the next video and Merry Vlogmas.